whether this value is there in the project table or not. You entered 100, SQL server go to project table, checks 100 is there in the project table or not. Yes, it is there, accepted. Next, it checks 101. Is 101 is there? Yes, accepted. 999. But it's there, not there. So when it is not there, then it is not accepted. Next one, 100. 100 is there, accepted. Null is accepted. So foreign key allows for duplicates and foreign key allows null values. So the only rule is that the foreign key value should match with primary key value. And after declaring foreign key between the two tables, a relationship is created. What that relationship is called? Parent-child relationship. And who is parent, who is child? Primary key table is parent and foreign key table is child. So in our example, project table, project ID is primary key. Employee table, project ID is what? Foreign key. So this is what? Parent table. And what is this is? Child table. That's all. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now. <coughs> now, you, you try this. <clears throat> One is accounts table is there. Okay, accounts table, account number, can I? account holder, account type, balance. I want to create this table. I want to create the table with three fields account number, account type, balance. And I want to create the table with following rules. <coughs> I want to create the table with these rules. One is account number. While creating the table, you have to implement these rules. Account number should not be duplicate and null. Account type must be withdraw or sorry. Type. type must be S or C. Okay, account type. S means saving, C means current. Next one. Balance must be minimum 1000. <coughs> okay. And then. So you have to create the table and you have to declare this to What the next one is, one more table is there, transactions table. In this table, what do you want to store? I want to store accounts, account details. Okay, na? in this table, I want to store transactions day to day. Okay, na? you do money withdrawal, money deposits now. So every transaction should be recorded in this table. When customer do the transaction, that should be recorded in this table. So in this table, I want to store transactions. In this one field is what? Transaction ID. One field is transaction type. Transaction type. One field is transaction amount. One field is transaction date. Next one. One field is account number. Okay. Then. <coughs> Okay, no? then balance will not be stored in transactions table. So then this is the table. In this table, you want to store ID, type, amount, date, account number. Okay, then next, sir, and what are the rules? One rule is that transaction ID must be automatically generated. Must be generated automatically. A transaction ID must be auto incremented. Otherwise, auto incremented. You know how? You know how to auto increment transaction IDs? What? Identity. Transaction type must be. Transaction type must be. Withdraw or deposit. Next one. 
<coughs> transaction amount must be multiple of 100 transaction amount must be multiple of 100 okay next <coughs> Okay, na then next one transaction date must be system date must be system date current date account number should match with what year year account number who can do the transactions only valid valid customers can do the transaction that means your account number should be valid account where are the valid account numbers are there account stable so that means this account number should match with this account number bas only valid accounts can do the transaction this account number should match with account stable account number so this account number must be what foreign key yes or no uh, then account number should match with account stable account number so these are the rules i want to implement these rules Okay then clear now that <clears throat> so you have to create this okay then create these two tables and declare the what sir good now what this is write what what you have to write write create table script now to write create table script so create table okay na then <clears throat> You have to create the tables with given rules. Okay, next. <clears throat> Then, sir, I want to declare this rule. Account type must be SRC. You know now how to declare this? Check. Account type must be SRC. We use check and say, okay, na? To declare this rule, what is S? What is C? You don't need to know it. If you know, okay. Even if you don't know, also, like no problem. You can declare it. What you must know is how to declare this. What is S? What is C? Is not required for you. I want to declare a rule. Gender must be M comma F. then you must know how to declare that gender in m comma f what is m what is f if you know whether you know or you don't know what is m what is f so no problem yes okay na then what we must know is how to declare this rule is important but what is s what is c is not important s means saving c means current okay na then <clears throat> that's it. so you you try this okay now uh what we created between the two tables is relationship is created you between the two tables you created what sir relationship now relationships are okay 
relationships are what four types what is types some what said relationships types relationship types okay there are four types of relationships between the two tables we can establish four types of relationships one is one is one to one one colon one second one one to many one colon m another one many to one m colon one next one many to many m colon n not mm mn many to many so there are four types of relationship exist between the two tables one to one one to many many to one many to many what is the default relationship if you declare a foreign key i said relationship is established now what is the type of what type of relationship established between the two tables okay first of all what is one to one means what is one to one means okay like one second just see this this is one table this is one table what is t1 this is t1 table 1 this is table 2 okay in table 1 there are three rows i am taking three rows in table 2 also i am taking three rows this example but one record in table 1 associated with one record in table 2 one record in table 1 associated with one record in table 2 like 2 is associated with this 3 is associated with this what this relationship is called one to one relationship one record in table 1 associated with exactly one record in another table so this relationship is called one to one relationship suppose for example this is table 1 this is what's it table 2 this is table 1 what is this is called table 2 here then this is what 1 2 3 there are three records here 1 2 3 4 something next sir, suppose here and this one is associated with what's it 1 and 2 okay and here this 2 is associated with what sir 3 and 4 just assume that and what this relationship is called this relationship is called what sir 1 to many this relationship is called 1 to many one record in table 1 associated with what multiple multiple records in table 2 this is called 1 to many relationship okay na then if you see from table 1 it is what if you see this from table 1 it is one to many if you see this from table 2 it is many to one <coughs> one to many many to one what's it like same but from one side it is one to many from other side it is many to one with respect to table 1 it is one to many with respect to table 2 it is many to one now suppose here <coughs> then this is one table okay this is one table and this is what another table i am taking two tables okay then so table 1 here also table 2 table 2 next one what is this is this is what 1 2 3 4 <coughs> <coughs> like otherwise 1 2 3 something next one here here also what 1 2 3 so then and here this record one associated with what's it this two records and the second record is associated with what's it one two and third record is associated with what okay two three that means first record is associated with what one and two and second record is associated with what one and two okay now third record two and three so in a table one first record is associated with two records in table 2 this first record is associated with one two records yes or no table 1 okay na multiple records sorry 
in table 1 one record is associated with multiple records in table 2 one record is associated with one multiple records of table 1 what is this relationship is called many to many okay na many to many understood so then table 1 one record is associated with multiple rows in table 2 also one record is associated with multiple records of table 1 so this relationship is called many to many relationship so these are the the different types of relationship exist between two tables okay na then so now <clears throat> now but what is the default is okay na what is the default relationship in sql server okay if you don't mention sir here you see the yesterday's example we declared the foreign key while declaring the foreign key have you mentioned one to one one to many many to many no we didn't mention if you don't mention anything by default what type of relationship is created one to many so what is the default relationship in sql server is one to many okay if you want you can check you see this then yesterday we created the two tables like this so project is what's 100 project 100 one project so here tell me foreign key allows duplicates or not by default foreign key allows duplicates or not yes uh, then employee one working for project 100 employee four also joined in project 100 employee one and four are working for project 100 one project how many employees one project how many employees many employees two means many project is one one project but how many employees working for one project two employees multiple employees so that means what is the relationship here one to many so foreign key allowing duplicates now nah? so when foreign key allows duplicates multiple employees working for the same project so what is the relationship is one to many so default relationship in sql server is one to many Okay, na? then <clears throat> in SQL Server by default, <clears throat> in SQL Server by default, what one to many relationship is created between two tables, between two tables. In SQL Server, by default, one to many relationship is created between two tables. Okay, na? Then. Okay, <clears throat> then in SQL Server, by default, one to many relationship is created between the two tables. <clears throat> Online students, you don't need to tell me what is missed. You listen the class. I know. You listen. Focus on the current topic. Okay, na? Focus, focus on current topic. Online students. Then. <clears throat> it's not completed. Did I say integrity concerns topic is completed? And then why you are asking? Default is missing. Huh? Focus on current topic. Then. <clears throat> so, then. But one question asked is, how to establish one-to-one -one relationship? Okay. How to establish what? One-to-one -one relationship. Okay, na? Then. So, uh, by default is one-to-many. How to establish one-to-one -one relationship? Tell me what. Sir, just assume that. But it's not correct. 
but one project one employee i want like that usually one project what sir many employees but suppose i want to establish one project one employee then one project one employee how then see employee one joined in project 100 s is the one employee another employee joining in project 100 don't accept because my rule is one project one employee so second employee joining in project 100 don't accept this then what no what that's what boss i am just giving hint you should get the logic what employee one joined in project 100 another employee also joining in project 100 don't allow this if you don't allow this one to one is created if you allow this one to many is created that's all then what how to prevent this second one don't allow the duplicates into foreign key column if you don't allow the duplicates then what is created one to one is created if you allow the duplicates one to many is created if you don't allow the duplicates one to one is created okay then so then employee one joined in 100 another employee joining in 100 and uh, then you want one to one don't allow this if you don't allow this one to one is created one project one employee yes or no uh, don't don't allow duplicates into foreign key column uh, tell me how to not to allow the duplicates into foreign key declare foreign key with what unique consent if you declare foreign key with unique consent duplicates are not allowed then what is created one to one to one one to one relationship is created yes or no uh, then so then how to establish one to one relationship by default what is the relationship one to many then to establish then what like to establish what sir to establish one to one We establish one-to-one -one relationship between two tables. We establish one-to-one -one relationship between two tables. Declare what foreign key with what set unique consent. so to establish one to one relationship between two tables declare foreign key with what sir unique consent okay now then ah uh, tell me example for one to one example okay example one to one relationship what are the previous example what are the previous example projects employee even real time projects employee what is the relationship one to many one project many employees works for one project now so relationship is one to many uh, tell me what is the example for one to one huh? one account number one customer can have only one account number in bank no multiple you can have multiple accounts 
सेविंग्स अकाउंट करंट अकाउंट फिक्स डिपॉजिट आधार नंबर उधर आईडी आधार नंबर देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप आधार नंबर सर वन सेकेंड सी वट इज आधार नंबर फील पान नंबर इज फील रिलेशनशिप डज नॉट एक्जिस्ट बिटवीन फील्ड रिलेशनशिप एक्जिस्ट बिटवीन टू टेबल्स you are telling the relationship between two fields relationship does not exist between two fields relationship always exists between two tables two tables then then okay na ah uh, what ah huh? m sir once again let's take i am taking one okay na then <clears throat> i am taking one what is that is uh like what then so uh, okay let's taking one bpt department table department number department name etc department number is sen hr hr department 20 okay na no? it department 30 sales department like this in department table what is primary key department number is primary key okay then so once again just see employees what is the relationship between department and employee what is the relationship between department and employee one to many one to many one department can have many employees the relationship between department and employees one to many there is a call manager every department is managed by manager every department is managed by manager manager number manager name manager start date manager what's the end date manager number manager name start date end date what date to what date is manager like this okay na so then manager number okay leave it start date end date and uh, then so manager is one manager is one manager name manager is two manager name so i want to have the relationship between department and manager i want to have the relationship what is the relationship between department and manager one department is managed by one manager one manager manages one department what is the relationship one to one one department is managed by one manager one manager exactly manages one department what is the relationship is one to one so i want to have the relationship to have the relationship introduce foreign key introducing foreign key means what take what sir primary key take primary key of what department table what that is department number department number department number so then take this primary key add this primary key to what table manager's table so in manager's table department number is foreign key in department table dnw is what primary key in a manager's table this is foreign key ah uh, then how to declare this foreign key references references which table department table department number department number plus okay but actually if you declare only foreign key what type of relationship is created one to many but what do you want to establish one to one to establish one to one declare what sir unicorns now enter 10 enter 10 okay na ah uh, then employee this is the manager for 10th department next one enter 20 is the manager for 20th department is the manager for 10th department is the manager for 20th department okay that that's all so can we enter another one once again 3 c next again another manager is also managing 10th department allowed or not allowed 
not allowed because this foreign key declared with what sir unique duplicates are allowed or not allowed not allowed this is what invalid this gives error yes or no that sir example for 1 2 1 that <coughs> so in the above example the above example one department is managed by one manager and uh, one manager manages what one department so uh, relationship between two tables is is what one to one okay na then one to one Then, then, <clears throat> how to create? You know, huh? only one, only extra. What is that? Is you have to declare references plus unique also. References is foreign key. Unique is what sir, not allowing the duplicates. Why don't why you don't want to allow the duplicates? Because you want to have one to one relationship. You know how to establish one to one. You know how to establish one to many. Default is one to many. So one to many, many to one. What sir, same. Yes or no? Okay na. From one side it is one to many. From other side it is many to one. What you don't know is many to many. That will see. that comes later yes sir. there is a call composite primary key that time we'll discuss many to many okay na then so if you want like what one second okay if you want many to many means so then what is this is many to what sir many then many to many mn M N M N <clears throat> No Okay then many to many relationship Sir I am not writing create table command you know you can write now yes or no then only one what is that is earlier previous example only you declared what sir references you declared only foreign key if you declare only foreign key one to many if you declare foreign key and unique one to one one to one 
then many to many by default no rdbms supports many to many relationship sql server doesn't support oracle mysql no any rdbms you take so all rdbms doesn't support whatsapp many to many relationship direct to many to many relationship is not possible between the two tables many to many relationship is not possible you have to break the many to many relationship into two one to many relationships you have to break the many to many relationship into two one to many relationships okay na that so by default no rdbms supports what like instead of saying no rdbms we'll talk about only sql server and by default sql server doesn't support many to many relationship direct relationship is not possible okay then ah oh. then how to establish many to many how to establish many to many so here uh, you are to establish many to many so divide the many to many relationship into two one to many relationships here many to many relationship is divided into what sir two one to many relationships okay then then here <clears throat> here many to many relationship is divided into into two one to many relationships Uh, tell me example example for many to many relationship hmm? example example for many to many relationship any huh? products products okay na then products and what sir customer okay then Okay, na products and customer. So one customer can purchase many products. One product can be purchased by many customer. So relationship between product and customer is what sir? Many to many. Asa no? Okay, na that. So next, ah, like what is this is products, product ID, product name, product what sir? price okay then so next 100 101 something so some name product name some price 1000 some price product name b 2000 like this there is a table what is the table is customer table then customer id customer name customer address like this customer id is 10 name is something x address is what sir hy next one 11 name is something some k address is also hy uh, what do you want here relationship between products and customer is what one to many to many because one customer can purchase many products and one product can be purchased by many customers okay na so then the relationship between products products and customer is what many to many because because what one product can be purchased by purchased by 
purchased by many customers and one customer can purchase can purchase many products Once again, Now, what you have to do, I want to establish. To establish the relationship, add foreign key. Okay, now, add foreign key. Yes or no? But it's not direct, the relationship is not possible. Earlier, what? Earlier, here, in this example, you added foreign key to what? Here, you added foreign key to employee table. Yes or no? Uh, here, you added foreign key to what, sir? Manager's table. Yes. Okay. Then, so here direct relationship is possible, but here direct relationship is not possible. So that's why I said many to many is not possible. Okay, na? direct to pos not possible. So here many to many is divided into what? Two, one to many relationships. Okay, na? Uh, then what we do? So here one is what's it? Product table. Another one what's it? Customer table. Then, so to establish many to many, Create one more table. Create what, sir? Create one more table. To establish many to many relationship between. So, to establish many to many, just design first. To establish what? Many to many. Okay, na? then create what? Create what, sir? Create what? Create third table. Already two tables are there now. Uh, create what third table take third table in third table create third table and what you have to include in third table primary keys of both the tables what you have to include in the third table primary keys of both the tables as foreign keys so then create uh, to establish many to many relationship create third table and add what sir add what primary keys of both tables as what foreign keys okay now then so what is the third table like third table is what sir let's say the third table name is what sales table in sales table i want to store which product is sold to which customer which product is sold to which customer okay now uh, then so here i want to store what sir date id next one Product ID, next one, customer ID, how much quantity sold, what is the amount, I want like this. In this table, I want to store like this. Uh, what is that is, date ID and plus product ID and plus what's the customer ID. So, so and so date, like let it be some so and so date, some 15, okay, na? product is what's the 100, sold to what, customer 10, some quantity, leave it. Okay, na? next one, 15th, uh, next product, what sir, 100, sold to customer, what, 11, next one, 15th, so product, 101, sold to customer, 10, possible or not, yes, so here, you see this, 100 is, 100 is associated with what, 100, 100 is associated with how many customers, product 100 is associated with how many customers, two customers, 10 and 11 and customer 10 is associated with how many products two products 100 and 101 what is the relationship many to many one product is associated with many customer one customer is associated with what many products what is the relationship is many to many uh, then 
If between two tables, if you want to establish many-to-many -many relationship, then what you do, sir? Create what? Third table. In the third table, take primary keys of both the tables. Primary key of product table, primary key of what? Customer table. So add that primary keys in third table. So in sales table, product ID should be declared as foreign key. That foreign key refers what, sir? Product table, product ID. And customer ID is what, sir? Foreign key. This foreign key refers what? Customer table, customer ID. Understood, no? So this foreign key refers this product table, product ID. And this customer ID refers customer table, customer ID. So here, how many foreign keys are there? Two foreign keys. That's all. Sir, here, earlier, so you want to establish one, two, many. Direct possible. Indirectly, in another table, add foreign key. One to one, directly possible. Many to many. Directly not possible. Now we have to break the what? Many to many into what, sir? Two, one to many relationship. Sir, relationship is not directly there between these two tables. Direct, direct relationship is not there between these two tables. Relationship is there through what? Third table. Okay, na? So, actually, relationship is there between products and sales. Relationship is there between customer and sales. So, what is the relationship between product and sales? One product, many sales. And what is the relationship between customer and sales? One customer, many sales. So, what is the relationship? One to many. So, we are breaking the many to many relationship into two one to many relationships. Okay? Sir, okay, now then. <clears throat> That's, uh, this is what many to many relationship. Now you know what one to many, you know many to many, you know one to one. Yes, you know all the three. Yes or no? Okay, then. <clears throat> then. Because if uh, like what, okay, now then. Sometimes, uh, like what, then <clears throat> they give like this. 
ओके ना दे सो लाइक एक्चुअली वन स्टूडेंट एसक्यूएल सर्वर ओके ना ये जॉइन इन सम कंपनी ओके ना दे what they ask is like uh, one day they ask prepare a, like design the database for hr okay na Pre design the database for what sir hr hr okay na hr department is there so design the database for hr department then what he has to design like this what is this is called this is called er diagram what this is called er diagram entity relationship what is er stands for entity relationship okay na this is called er diagram like actually sir suppose here you take buildings there will be a blueprint or not for every building there is a blueprint okay na design If you want to understand the building, just go through the blueprint. If you go through the blueprint, then you'll understand. Okay, na? What is left side is what, right side is what, north what, south what? Okay, na? So to understand that, so just go through the blueprint. Okay, then. So similarly, to understand the database, to understand what's the database, just go through the ER diagram. If you go through the ER diagram, you'll understand the database. Suppose you joined in one project. That project is already developed. Okay, na? Suppose you are joined in that project. You want to do some maintenance. Okay, but you want to understand the project. You know, you want to understand the database. But you go to the database. Okay, na? If you see, like, what you do, you expand this database. You expand the database. okay na here what sir uh, expand these tables if you expand the tables then what tables list is there but how you know uh, like which tables are having relationship with what you won't be knowing it yes or no and then what you have to do is <coughs> see what sir <coughs> okay na then so uh, now see here what sir database what sir diagrams if you see this database diagrams then you'll understand so which tables are having relationship with which so which two tables having the relationship that gives what this is database what's a diagram okay na database diagrams now so that is called what's a what is that is called er diagram entity relationship so okay na okay what is this what is this what is this na yeah, this one mainly you find this three symbols what is this is called what is this is called this is called what sir entities they are called entities what is this is called this is called what attributes what is this is called this is called what relationships one is entity one is attribute one is what sir relationship so entity attribute relationships so this is what in er diagram we use this symbols so these symbols are used in er diagram that means database is represented by using these symbols graphical symbols so what is er diagram means it is a graphical representation of database what is er diagram is graphical representation you know flow charts you know flow charts what is flow chart is a graphical representation of a program a flow chart is graphical representation of a program like er diagram is what a graphical representation of what's a database so by seeing this er diagram in database what they are storing suppose if you see this in this then you it gives some idea 
it gives some information what that is so in database they are storing what's the bank data they are storing what branch data they are storing loans data they are storing accounts data they store customers data in database they are storing bank data branch data loans data accounts data customers data okay na? that gives that so okay by seeing this it gives some information to you okay na then so this is your diagram what is this bank entity what is this bank code at address attributes of bank entity what is branch branch is what sir entity branch is what entity okay na branch is one entity uh, what are the attributes of branch attributes attributes of branch what Uh, so branch id branch name branch address attributes the fields okay then so then next this is er diagram who prepared this er diagram who prepared this er diagram who design the database one who design one who design the database he prepared this er diagram who prepared the databases who design the databases database designers database architect who design the databases database designers database architects so they design the database not by the developer understood and that okay na then because see for development what you need you want to develop database to develop the database what you need technical knowledge sql server knowledge if you got sql server knowledge you can develop the database but to design the database what you need to design the database you need technical knowledge plus you need domain knowledge okay na domain knowledge then domain knowledge means like uh, suppose to design the database you need some knowledge on you want to design a database for bank you need some knowledge on banking industry okay na to design the database for insurance company you need some knowledge on what sir insurance industry how like business goes in insurance industry if you don't have that knowledge so designing the database is difficult understood ah uh, what designer needs to technical plus domain domain knowledge so how what developer needs technical knowledge enough okay na to develop to work with the database technical knowledge is enough you don't need what's a domain knowledge uh, but for designers what is required domain knowledge is required got it then but how you get the technical knowledge coming to amir pet yes or no attending class in amir pet you'll get the technical knowledge how you get the domain knowledge any anyone gives like in yes, amir pet anyone gives huh? i give the what uh, like knowledge and banking industry means anyone will go and attend that class no nobody okay na and then how you get the domain knowledge experience if you do one or two projects in what banking industry automatically you'll get banking industry knowledge yes or no okay na so that's why like uh, like designer needs to one is technical plus domain okay then so like in this suppose here then and what is this diamond shape relationship so relationship bank and what's the branch there is a relationship between bank and branch let's identify what is the relationship between bank and branch one to one na one to many na many to many na what one bank has what's it many branches what is the relationship one to many one bank can have many branches yes or no so relationship is one to many between bank and branch now let's branch and accounts branch offers accounts na uh, one branch offers so many accounts many accounts and one account is associated with how many branch one branch one branch offers how many accounts many accounts many accounts but one account is associated with how many branches one branch so tell me what is the relationship one to many 
one too many next one between branch and accounts one too many branch and loans uh, one branch offers so many loans many loans and one loan is associated with how many branches one branch what is the relationship one to many next one uh, accounts and customer one customer can take how many accounts uh, one customer can take how many accounts many accounts so one customer can take many accounts one account is associated with how many customers one customer one account is always associated with one customer uh, one loan is taken by how many customers one customer can take how many loans one customer one customer can take how many loans many loans one customer can take many loans okay na uh, one loan is taken by how many customers one customer what is the relationship one to many one to many or many to one etc okay na here all relationships are what sir one to many that's a maximum in real time also you maximum you come across what one to many but sometimes what sir many to one to one sometimes what many to many sometimes but maximum one to many okay na uh, this is a what sir er diagram er diagram okay uh, then so this er diagram is converted into what sir can we show the data in diagram the building plan is there uh, can you do the house warming huh? okay na building plan is there can you go and use that building no so that is for understanding this is also for understanding the database uh, can we sort the data in this can we sort the data in bank no then this er model is converted into relational model er model is converted into what sir relational model okay na so er model is there this er model is converted into what sir relational model listen first uh, what er model this er model er model is converted into what sir relational model okay na uh, what is this er model means this is used in what sir Uh, this is used in designing what sir to design the database use it to design what sir database and this is used this model is used used to develop what sir database okay na then so er model is for designing the database relational model is for to develop the database so used in development phase this is used in design phase so this is one next another one here in er model what are there entities are there entities are converted into what sir tables here next one what is there attributes attributes are converted into what fields or columns next one what is there relationship relationship is converted into relationship is converted into foreign key sir okay na er model is converted into relational model okay then er model is converted into relational model so this is the model used in design phase this is the model used for developing the database used in development this is used in design entities are converted into tables attributes are converted into fields relationship is converted into foreign key okay then
now this is there now so what is this this diagram is there okay na er yeah, diagram so we'll convert that into what sir tables we'll convert that into what sir relational relational model that is er model we'll convert that into what relational model so there are some entities we'll convert that entities into tables we'll convert attributes into fields we'll convert that relationship into foreign key okay then so now Uh, okay na so in this example how many entities are there how many entities are there 1 1 2 3 4 five 5 uh, how many tables are created in database five tables if you want to store this how many tables are required five tables five tables and bank is one table na bank becomes one table so the attributes of bank becomes one fields of the bank table attributes of bank becomes fields of the bank table so the attributes of branch becomes fields of the branch table attributes loans becomes fields of this one like attributes of accounts attributes of customer becomes fields so there is a relationship yes there is a relationship between bank and what's the branch in uh, in relational model also there should be a relationship between these two tables or not yes but in relational model how the relationship is established by using what sir foreign key by using foreign key so between these two tables how the relationship is established by using foreign key so introduce what sir foreign key you have to introduce foreign key understood okay na na so clear <clears throat> so example if you want to note down note down otherwise we'll we'll take because this is the er model for this er model i'll prepare what's a relational model okay na <coughs> okay then references unique not null equals zero hmm రికార్డింగ్ సౌండ్ రికార్డింగ్స్ కావాలంటే మీరు ఎడ్మిన్ కి కాంటాక్ట్ కావు ఎడ్మిన్ ఎడ్మిన్ ఇస్ శుభం నాట్ టు కాంటాక్ట్ శుభం hello online students <coughs> yeah okay 
Any doubts you can ask. No. Okay. What is Shan Max Bas? Shan Max uh, Shan Min. What is this? I don't know what is this Shan Max? Shan Min. Govind, I don't know what is this. What you are asking, I am not able to understand. Bas? Fiaj. Fiaj, huh? something. Fiaj Khan. Fiaj Khan, huh? what is? Okay, then. Bas, why you are asking, show example for foreign key? Have I not given example? You are not attending. Maybe you are not attended the yesterday's class. Then you have to go through the notes. Everything examples are given. You have to go through the notes. Then. I don't know what is this Govind you are asking. It's not there in SQL server. What is small limit and small limiter? Max limit. What is this is? SH small small. What is this is? Govind. Okay then. <clears throat> okay then. Bye. See you tomorrow. We'll continue this tomorrow. Bye. Okay then. Bye. See you tomorrow.
Thank you.